I thought you were saying Pocahontas. <laughs> but anyways, welcome to SeanCorcoranVideo.com. I'm Sean. Uh, today we're talking to Angel Contreras. I met him a few years ago, and we've done some work here and there together. Angel, what is it about film that really gets you going about film? I think like everyone else, we want to tell a story. Mm -hmm. um, everyone has a different point of view in storytelling. And what I like about it is that I can show my point of view. I haven't seen it on the screen, so it's something that I want to get across. And I want to tell people like, hey, this is what I feel about this subject. Just a lonely moon caught in her gravitational pull. How I long to be her Mercury. Say we fast forward a few years and now you have your dream job uh, telling the story. Which do you think is the best way to tell your story for you? Uh, that'd be nice if I get fast forward. <laughs> if I was to have one thing in the industry would be writer director mm -hmm. if I had a dream job. Uh, but um, it's a hard thing to do. So uh, if I had to choose one, it would just be uh, being a director. So who was your favorite director then? My favorite director, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a tough question. one, yeah. <laughs> but it would be uh, probably Quentin Tarantino or Rodriguez, Guillermo del Toro. Oh, we saw Guillermo del Toro, what, a couple months ago? Yeah, a few months ago, yeah. And that guy says he watches three movies every single day. Yeah. Do you watch three movies every single day? I don't watch three movies every single day. Yeah. I try to watch <laughs> one a day, and that's tough enough. Yeah. Um, that's the dream, I think, getting to Guillermo del Toro's point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you work full-time job. He <laughs> He's gotten over that part. So uh, what was your favorite movie then? I'm guessing it'd be by Tarantino. Uh, Kill Bill. Fantastic. What is it about Kill Bill that makes you love it so much? What I like about Kill Bill so much is that it was the first movie that I saw that made me fall in love with filmmaking. It had a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. It had a Western. It had a samurai movie, karate movie. Um, and there was this one scene where... Uh, the whole ending, pretty much, the movie where she fights the Yakuza. And that whole thing, I was just like, I was just amazed. Yeah, the crazy 88 scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite scenes, too. So that leads us to what you're trying to do now uh, with uh, Twitter, or not Twitter, Instagram and your YouTube channel. Uh, right now, what I'm trying to do is working on um, a YouTube channel called Film Goals. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also an Instagram page. It's basically just stuff that inspires me and helps me kind of keep on point when it comes to my writing and directing and filmmaking in general. So it's, uh, I want to start creating content, talking about movies. Um, I see people on YouTube analyzing movies and reviewing movies and I'm like, I do that with my friends all the time. Mm -hmm. Why don't I do it on YouTube as well? Right. And as you said, it's kind of, it kind of sounds like it's going to be your online diary of your film journey. Uh, like, it's sort of going to be that, but it's also more um, just original content. Okay. Me just talking about movies and what I get out of the movies that I watch. Mm -hmm. And maybe other people will feel the same way or disagree. And they can follow me and see what, what we agree on. Round one. I saw that your first post was a recent one minute short film you did called Mirage. Uh, what can you share with your experience about that? Really just getting a story down to a minute. It's very difficult to do, especially one that make, will make an impact or mm -hmm. stand out. And uh, I think the toughest part was trying to get it down to one minute. And then after that, it was production. So just angle them where you can't see the houses. <laughs> Not just sharing off of that experience, you've shot some web series, you've, you've worked as an editor a lot. What would be the one piece of advice that you give to aspiring filmmakers or people that want to get into television? It would be tough to say because I'm still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But I think the biggest thing is just uh, don't procrastinate because that's a big thing for me. Just go out there and uh, start working on stuff. Just get it done. You can't wait for someone to give it to you. The easiest way to put it. Yeah. Especially it's Tay's world. You got the internet. You can make yeah. whatever you want and anybody can see it. Whereas before you had to get distribution. But right. not anymore. Well, thanks for your time, Angel. Thank you, man. Uh, if you it. want to get a hold of Angel uh, and collaborate with him, how do they get a hold of you? If you want to get a hold of me, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at filmgoals underscore. Or you can go to YouTube channel Film Goals. And my personal uh, Instagram page, Angel Guapo, with a zero at the end. All right, fantastic. 
Thanks again. Thanks, man. What do you have to say to all your fans? I got no fans. I'm a fan of myself. I'm my own fan. Just want to say to myself, good job. You're doing a great job. I picked a good team. I don't know what my DP is, but it's a good team so far.